So as y'all can see, we got it back here, but it broke my damn Harbor Freight Jack, bro. Or my little broke it. So I'm gonna have to get me either more casters or more of these. It broke. Oh! Like, bro. So, as y'all can see, man, I'm about to get to it. And uh, I should have this thing stripped very well in literally no time. So, um, time for me to get to it, y'all. All right, y'all, so I done quite a, quite a lot off camera since my phone wound up dying. And then I'm like, bro, so I had let my phone charge. I'm like, I can't just be sitting here waiting for it to charge. So I kind of got carried away and just went with everything. So as y'all can see, I got, y'all seen probably seen this from the time lapse. I, I didn't check the time lapse, so I don't even know if the time lapse is back or uh or the time lapse recorded but if y'all seen the time lapse um y'all most y'all seen all of this um everything really relatively is just about the same as my car uh, as a 300 as i discussed in the other in the video of me stripping my 300 all the bolt sizes are pretty much the same uh i was mis i was mistaken in one of the videos Here, let me put this back before i lose this so this is actually an 18 millimeter not a, a 19 i don't know where i got 19 from um but everything else is pretty much like the same uh there are a few extra sensors here that you'll have to worry about unplugging and then uh just feeding it through uh, here like this will be bolted in there this is a 10 millimeter or i'm sorry i'm not even pointing this would be bolted in there. This is a 10 millimeter. This would be bolted right here. No, right here, right here. We bolt it right here. Then uh, what else we got? A bunch of just stuff that it plugs into um, the strut and plugs into the ABS. Um, the brake line, I don't even know if mine is gonna be still usable. Um, I, I'm gonna worry about that tomorrow. Uh, luckily, my brake is not on the ground, so um, I did remove the struts. Well, I unbolted them from the top. So literally, the only things that's holding the engine in now is catalytic converters. Uh, I unbolt them, the mid pipes. I unbolt the mid pipes tomorrow. Um, then the transmission and the drive shaft and the subframe bolts so in total i have we got 24 bolts just about or around that number because we got the drive shaft bolts i think it's seven or eight i don't remember right now how many bolts it is in the drive shaft also had to cut this uh it was bad anyway so don't fuss at me for that i didn't cut this loom because i wanted to retain it but uh, if I could take this loom down, maybe you guys can see. Basically, this is why I wasn't able to put coolant in the car. I can't even take it off. This is why I wasn't able to put coolant in the car, because this uh, was already shredded on, like, one of the elbows from the accident. It might be. It's, like, right here somewhere. It's somewhere on there, but this is leaking, and it was leaking at the bottom as well. So that's why coolant couldn't stay in the car. Uh, it kept leaking coolant. Um, other than that, I don't know what caused the AC lines to be already depressurized. There's There was no pressure in them when I tried to release the pressure. Um, I'm trying to think. 
again a lot of 10 millimeters for uh, these studs here these type of studs uh, on this side you'll have one of these again in the wheel well it's a 10 millimeter I don't know what those sensors do but um, nonetheless we got to get it all unplugged uh, let's see what else I also disconnected everything from the air uh, the HVAC system, they, all that stuff, the heater core, all this, and the refrigerant lines, um, the bolts that I was telling you guys about on my iron, the same as on this car. Uh, there's two over there. They're 10 millimeters. You're going to need a deep socket 10 millimeter. Uh, there's three right here, but one of them is a 13 millimeter that holds this refrigerant line up. Both of those are 10 millimeters. And then that'll be it for right there um i unplugged the engine um and i am also unplugged uh, i started to unplug the pcm but look here i started to unplug the pcm but this lock is like broken or it's not broken but it's not working properly so i don't want to break the pcm uh plug socket because they're held in by like it's like clips or whatever but um I didn't want to break the PCM. Uh, so, other than that, I removed the bracket for this. So, uh, that bolts directly up to your car, whatever year you have. It doesn't matter the year because it bolts directly up to my car. And my car is one of the older years. So, um, I also removed, as you guys can see, there's no steering wheel connected to the column or the steering anymore. I disconnected it. So, and I also disconnected the dash or unbolted the dash. So now all I have to do is unplug it and then I'm ready to pull it. So um, tomorrow I should be able to have not only the engine out of this car. If I get out here early in the morning, I should not only have that engine out of this car, the Hellcat engine out, and then I'll be able to have the dash out of this car, the HVAC system out of this car, the wiring out of this car. And then the wiring I'll put in the 300 and then I'll put the HVAC system in 300 and then uh, the carpet. So also real quick before I even get to the next thing, the carpet on the Challenger, the front two carpets will work for whatever you have, the Charger, Challenger 300, Chrysler, Chrysler 300 and also uh, the Magnum, uh, it works. Uh, but the rear two, the, the rear uh, carpet won't work. I don't know. This window let up before. Like, when I had everything plugged in, um, it let up before. But then when I started the car, got it back here, it just didn't let up again. So, I, I really wanted it to be closed. But unfortunately, I guess, you know, I'm not even going to. Also, I don't know if you guys know, I got me a new radio. Um, this is a jailbreak one. I wanted to see if the interface and the software was different and it actually is. So if you have a jailbreak or any, any newer Hellcat cluster or cluster at all, it is a newer firmware, firmware than the old ones. And it also is like, has a different UI style, sort of, it's like a slight change. Um, other than that, guys that's pretty much all i did today um i know this video was kind of shorter just because i didn't get much footage i think i believe i didn't i don't think i did but um from my accident on my car uh well not my accident but the accident on this car this like look how look how much the frame rail is bent bro that's supposed to be straight. That's not supposed to be facing that way. That's supposed to be faced this way. The subframe also is like slightly moved along with it because the subframe bolts are a part of like also in this curve. So I believe that the fuel line has a kink in it um, from me just kind of like feeling back there behind the supercharger. I'm not 100% sure yet, but after I get this engine out and 
get the stuff in the 300 then I will um, have to after I get the stuff out of the chart or challenger and then put it in 300 I will so I have to buy some uh, charger fuel lines and I have to buy um, well I'm probably not even gonna buy charger specific cool, um, fuel lines or brake lines I'll probably buy like braided uh, brake lines and um, I guess a custom fuel line um, I don't know but I can't really find any like that so uh, that is um, one hiccup I guess you can call it uh, that I am having currently with the swap but I'm nowhere near done <clears throat> I am being getting closer and closer to being done I'm probably about 50% right now um, maybe 65% but uh, nowhere near done and then I'll have to I know the front passenger uh, brake line that I need on this module will work from the Challenger but I still need the rear brake lines and I need the rear fuel or the fuel line so um, that'll be it for this video if you have any questions comment just ask me and usually I, I'll I'm pretty good about getting to comments and uh, I see a lot of you guys are appreciating me posting these videos so um, just comment let me know what you got a question about um, and I can I'll reply to you and help you so I've been really busy but I'll get I'll get back to you guys so I'll catch y'all tomorrow